Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here playing more of the Cuphead DLC and in this video I'm going to tell you how to upgrade the Cursed Relic and turn it into a Divine Relic. Doing this will also unlock the Paladin achievement slash trophy for quote unquote obtaining great power. Now in a way this video is part two because I have a longer extended version of how to turn the Broken Relic into the Cursed Relic but let me summarize. You'll buy the Broken Relic from Porcrine's Emporium for one golden coin, take it and equip it. Next, go to the climbers and talk to the first, second and third place competitors. Each one of them will have a directional input in their dialogue. Write these down. It's also important to note that every playthrough is random and your answers will be different from mine. Go to the nine gravestones in the graveyard and always use the middle as your reference point. So if a competitor said, I'm gonna go left downtown and around, that's left down. And using the middle gravestone as your reference point, that'll be the bottom left corner. Interact with the gravestones in the order that the competitors finished, first, second, third, based on the directions in their dialogue, and you will unlock the secret boss battle with this kind of heaven and hell mechanic where you fly across the cloud. Use the crack shot to make quick and easy work of this boss battle, and this will turn your broken relic into the cursed relic. Next up, we have to turn the cursed relic into the divine relic, and to do this, we will need to complete boss fights with the cursed relic equipped. If you're unaware, the cursed relic will spawn you with one HP and every time you shoot your gun, you will shoot a random weapon. That is how you're going to have to complete boss battles. And to fully empower the relic, you will need to do seven total boss battles with it equipped. The useful part of this relic is that when you parry, you are able to regain some of your health. Now I tried to do this the hard way and I actually did it against bosses in the DLC island. This is quite difficult, but actually any boss from the entire game will work. So at the end, when I started getting a little frustrated, I went back and realized you could do the carrot, you could do goopy, and all of the super easy bosses from the beginning of the game. But as you're completing these bosses, and if you look at the equipment you have, the cursed relic eyeball in the icon will begin to form kind of these eyelashes. And these will continue to grow every time you complete more and more bosses. Eventually the eye will fill up with eyelashes and change into the divine relic. And you'll unlock the paladin achievement slash trophy. Now the only difference between the cursed relic and the divine relic is now instead of spawning with one health, you will spawn with three health and a randomized weapon. This theoretically lets you bring in more than two weapons to any single boss fight, so it might actually be good for speedrunners. In a way, it might set a couple of records for a couple of individual boss battles. Thank you for watching. Drop a like on the video, share the video with a friend. A super special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. I'll see you soon. Peace.